Hello everyone, welcome to another NECA figure unboxing slash review. I have the brand new 35th anniversary Back to the Future uh, Marty McFly from, uh, yeah, NECA, I already said. Um, I'm just very excited about this because when they announced this, I don't remember how many months ago they announced this thing, I was like dying to get it. I'm like, oh my god, I need this. And all the way up till, uh, yeah, October, I finally got it. I went to Target and luckily my Target had pretty much all the new figures. They didn't have the uh, hazmat suit uh, or whatever that's called uh, Marty and they, they didn't have the uh, 1955 Doc Brown but they did have you know this Marty part two Marty and Biff and I bought those three um, not sure if I want to buy that Doc Brown though because I'd rather have him in his um, lab coat or whatever you know what I mean the one he gets shot in um, I kind of prefer that look of Doc Brown um, so hopefully they will figure him you know, one day like that. And I'm not going to get the hazmat suit, Marty, either, just because, I don't know. Um, but I definitely had to get this one. I mean, just look at him. <laughs> yeah, there's the life preserver. <laughs> He's got his guitar, skateboard, changeable hands, backpack. He's got the uh, the portable uh, recording studio, I think Doc Brown calls that. Um, yeah, this is amazing. So, yeah, let's get Marty out of the box. I'm so pumped about this. And I wonder, too, why NECA didn't make a Part 3 Marty. If they make a Part 3 Marty, I will buy it so I can have a Marty from each movie. Uh, maybe because Part 3 isn't as popular or something. I don't know. But uh, hopefully one day we will get a Part 3 Marty McFly. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to open this up. We're going to take a look at him. And, yeah, here we go. Alrighty, and here we got Marty McFly out of the box, and I gotta say, that likeness on his face is, like, really good. Like, it looks pretty much <laughs> just like Michael J. Fox. Like, it's a little, like, look, from that angle especially. Um, this angle, I'm not sure, but this angle, look at that. <laughs> but yeah, regardless of the face, the detail is, like, amazing. Like, look, uh, <laughs> this thing is awesome. Uh, yeah, he's got, like, three layers of shirts on there. Um, yeah, and he's got even the, uh, she was right there. I believe he wore Nikes, right, in the movie? Maybe for licensing reasons. I can't put Nike on there. Um, but, yeah, he's a really cool-looking figure. Um, real quick, before I show, like, all the articulation and all that stuff, let me actually show the accessories. Now, I will say, too, this figure's kind of weird standing up. Like, I can't get him to... I don't know. He's kind of leaning forward. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. Like, he's leaning, like, this way. Um, but, anyways, let's take a look at the accessories. Here is the backpack right there. Really cool. And... Here is the camcorder. I believe this is a JVC. Um, no logo or anything like that, obviously, but still really cool. Red and black. Looks pretty much just like the one from the movie. And then the head, you get one alternate head. Now, unfortunately, I wanted to recreate the uh, Back to the Future poster now that I have the new DeLorean with him, you know, lifting his sunglasses up and checking his watch or whatever. Now, unfortunately, you can't lift up the sunglasses like it's attached. So I can't necessarily... <laughs> like completely reenact that but i could still sort of replicate it i guess um i don't know i'll figure it out but yeah he does have that alternate head and then he does come with his little guitar which is awesome look at that the detail on this is super cool like <laughs> wow and then it does have like a little strap or whatever and i think this could come off maybe yeah uh, i'm not gonna do that though i'm gonna be careful with it um so very cool nice detail on that and then here's the skateboard. Now, I don't know why I didn't think of this. Uh, of course, it's going to have spinning wheels. <laughs> um, I, I put it down and then it started rolling. I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to spin. <laughs> um, but still, very cool detail on this thing. Um, you don't, I mean, you get a good look at it at the beginning of the movie, but you don't really, like, you know, see it all the time. So this is cool to actually have a miniature version of it in person and look at it. Uh, yeah, so that's cool. Valterra, Madrid. I don't know if this is, like, a real brand or whatever i have no idea uh but anyways very cool he does have three alternate hands um two left hands and then one also one alternate right hand now this left hand actually has the guitar pick so if you have him playing the guitar you could have him picking the guitar so that's pretty cool and then you got another hand here um i think this one is to hold stuff not sure what the uh, main difference is here this one looks a little more open so i'm assuming this can hold stuff and then this is an alternate left hand that can hold stuff this one can't really hold anything it looks like so very cool you have a very uh, cool variety of options like you can recreate the scene at twin pines mall with this the opening scene with the guitar and the amps and all that stuff um him just riding around on a skateboard with a backpack to go into school if you want um but yeah a lot of variety so anyways again looking at the figure he does have all kinds of articulation arms can move in and out bend at the elbow hands can spin 
um, almost forgot to show the watch right there. And then the legs, you can bend at the knee, the feet sort of swivel side to side, um, up and down just a little bit. The feet don't move that much, honestly, uh, you know, but still not bad, could be worse. <laughs> um, no waist articulation, actually. He doesn't rotate or anything or bend forward. I don't think he does. Maybe underneath the clothes he has a joint, I just can't tell. Um, well, maybe, I don't know. But uh, still, a lot of posability out of him. Now, it's kind of weird. He's kind of hunched forward up here, if you notice. I kind of noticed that in the pictures, too. Like, it always looked like, you know, he was kind of hunched forward a little bit. But I don't know. It's okay, though. It's not terrible. But uh, I'm very pleased with this figure. I love it. Um, that's Marty McFly right there. So, um, actually, you know what? I might as well take the head off. Show you guys what it looks like with the alternate head. I'm curious about that. So, let's get this one in. Come on. All right, I'm having some difficulties here. I can't even get the head in. Sometimes it's tricky getting the head into the actual ball joint. Eh, whatever. I don't think it's in all the way. Actually, no, it might be. Oh, no, I think it is in all the way. Okay, cool. Anyways, <laughs> that looks pretty cool. His eyes are covered. So that definitely looks like Michael J. Fox for sure. Um, but, yeah, I love this figure. It's awesome. So, anyways, um, if I had to get any of them, it would be this one. But I also got part two, Marty and uh, Biff. So stay tuned for those. Um, he's kind of <laughs> posing on one leg there. Sorry. Like I said, he's kind of tricky to stand up. I'm going to have to figure finagle with him a little bit. Um, yeah. All right. Come on. Stand up. All right. <laughs> that's it. That's Marty McFly. Let me know what you guys think of him. Um, and that's it. Uh, actually, I should just throw the backpack on him because why not? He's one strap in it. See that? One strap only. I dare to put him on the skateboard. He might fall off. <laughs> um, whatever. He's like leaning. See that? Anyways, that's Marty. Thanks for watching, guys. And have a good one. This is heavy.